Hi, this is Ann. Welcome to Love a Yucca. Plastic pot, ceramic pot, terracotta pot. Which is the best pot for a yucca? Let's find out. Hi, welcome to Love a Yucca. I'm Ann. Let's get started. Today we're going to talk about pots. And pots are the most controversial, or one of the most controversial aspects of the plant world. And we're going to talk about yuccas pots. Just yucca, well, maybe not just yuccas. You can use some of what we're talking about today for your other plants. But I'm going to focus on yuccas. So first we're going to talk about a terracotta pot because we've got a bunch of them here if you notice. We've got plastic, ceramic, terracotta, just a little bit of everything. But we're going to start with the wonderful terracotta pot. And um, this is a Gloriosa. I've had this plant in here for about a year now. One thing about a terracotta pot is it's great for yuccas. It's, they're just great. I mean, hands down, this is probably the best pot for a yucca if you really want to be technical. They breathe. They leach out the moisture. And these guys, they don't want to be soggy. They don't want to sit in water. And terracottas pull it out. So we like terracottas for yuccas. Um, downside to them, they're heavy. I mean, this is a heavy, it's a little pot and it's heavy. They get expensive too. If you have a lot of yuccas, I mean, this sucker was $15, a little over $15. It adds up if you have a lot of yuccas. And finally they break. And if you're in the northern part of the United States, you're gonna have problems outside with cracking if you keep your yuccas out there um, or in any area that's cold. So they're great, but they do have their downside. Ceramic. Now this pot, I believe, is part terracotta and painted. So that defeats the point of the whole, of the whole terracotta if you paint it. It's a big one. It was a uh, cheap, or I wouldn't have bought it. And um, I'll probably put a yucca in it. And the reason is, it's got a hole at the bottom of it. So it's great for drainage. Downside is, this is heavy. So I will be, I'll have to put it on wheels or something to lug it around. And um, I'm gonna have to be real careful with watering. I don't wanna overwater that yucca. So I'm gonna have to really watch that um, I don't give it too much since this is not gonna breathe. Concrete, not bad, not bad for a yucca, but they're heavy, that's the downside to them. This one has the hole, so that's great. It's painted, which I don't think that really matters in concrete like it does with terracotta, but um, this is not a bad pot. They're expensive though, they, they can add up and they do crack if you drop them, so okay pot. Not, not crazy on it, but okay. This is a little ceramic pot, and I have a, a baby Restrada in it, and it's, it's, it's doing well. It's not a very old Restrada. It's got the pot, the hole at the bottom, and I'm real careful about it. So it's, it's working out for me very well. Cash pots. Great. Great idea. Put your pot, put your plant in a pot. And for some of the yuccas, that might be the best way to show them off. If you want to, if you have an indoor plant, um, you just slip it in there. But there is a downside. The moisture, and there's none in here at the moment because I haven't watered in a couple days, but they can sit in water. And it's not a maybe you'll have root rot, but you probably will if you let that yucca sit there in water. And I suspect that's true about just about any plant. So be careful if you have cash pots. I can't even go into how much I hate this pot. I mean, it's, it's, it's a ridiculous pot. It has a hole in it. It's got that hole. It has a saucer, but it's attached. And that water is just going to sit in there. And I mean sit there for, so your roots are sitting in water constantly. And I, for a yucca, kiss of death. I don't know, I think most plants, that's kiss of death, to sit in there. I mean, you pr practically have to dump the plant out to get the water out of there. So this is not a pot I would ever suggest using for any way, shape, or form, and especially not for a yucca. Plastic. This is where the controversy comes in. Some people are 
horribly against plastic pots. And I get it. If you, if they don't breathe, obviously, they're plastic. They uh, are, are attractive. You can get some really pretty plastic pots. They're inexpensive. Dollar General, eight bucks. And they, if done right, can be used for a yucca. This one, I drilled three holes into it. Here's another plastic pot. It's a good sized plastic pot. What's the problem with it? No holes. Um, in its shape right now, it should not, cannot, never, ever be used for a yucca. Yuccas need drainage, period. So I want to use this pot for one of my yuccas. I think it's it would work well for me. So I'm going to drill some holes in it. Now, right through the price tag, eight bucks. So when, you, when you're drilling holes in a um, pot, don't go on the outside because you might crack the pot. Kind of keep it gather a tripod toward the middle. Not directly in the middle, but toward the middle. So, let's see here. someone's drill if you don't have one yourself get your wife's get your partner's get your husband's just grab a drill nothing fancy and there we have it we have three holes in this plastic pot now one thing I like about plastic pots for yuccas is they're lightweight so you can move them around without lugging them and, and breaking your back. Downside to them, if you have pretty tall ones, they uh, might tip over in the wind. But you can see I have several very tall yuccas, and I have them, if you note, in plastic pots. So don't be afraid to use a plastic pot when it comes to your yucca or any plant. If you do it right, they'll work. I have an article on pots on my blog, loveayucca.com, so if you're interested in reading a little bit more about pots, please go online and take a look. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, or subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Till next time.